My name is Rina Talgam. I'm a professor at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. I'm an art historian uh, focusing on the art of the Middle East from the Hellenistic to the early Muslim periods. I'm especially interested in searching uh, the visual dialogues between the various communities that shared this piece of the world. Uh, Jews, polytheists, Samaritans, Christians, and Muslims. Um, art historian over the past two decades addressed issues of cognition in the process of reading, deciphering, and understanding works of art. There is more awareness uh, to the interactive nature of uh, observation of visual imagery. This was known to ancient scholars from the Hellenistic, Roman, and Byzantine period. I, I will quote Paulinus of Nola, an Italian bishop um, living at the end of the first century. A picture is empty while the viewer sees uh, truth in it. Then it is no longer empty for him, but uh, it feeds the mind of his face." End of, of quote. As indicated by my colleague Yash Elsner, the meaning of images resides in what the viewer reads into art. The meaning of uh, visual images depends upon uh, interpretative choice. Um, in another letter um, of Paulinus uh, uh, of Nola, in relation to the uh, interior courtyard uh, of his church that was decorated with uh, an Old Testament cycle, he writes, and I quote, and all the peasants point out to one another the paintings and read over to each other the inscriptions. And as they faced their eyes with this attractive and charming fast, perhaps they will turn more slowly to thoughts of food. And in this way, as the painting uh, deceived their anger, a better conduct may take root in their marveling hearts, and virtue, inspired by the holy, um, uh, still over them as they read the sacred uh, histories." End of quote. This uh, quotation uh, was part of uh, Paulinus of Nola's defense uh, of the use of visual art in a Christian context. Lucian of Samosata, dated to the third century, holds a different approach in um, relocating to, in, sorry, in relating to the uh, risk and attraction of visual beauty uh, in his composition, De Domo. Uh, in this text, which takes the form of a dispute over whether or not speaking in a, a a magnificently, a magnificent, magnificently decorated hall is helpful to the orator. One of the speakers claims that the uh, orator runs the risk of losing the attentions of his audience. The expression to read a work of art is common among art historians when they study a visual work of art. And as we have just heard, Paulinus of Nola also uses this word. Nevertheless, one should ask, as indeed did Elizabeth Sears in the introduction to the book she edited, Reading Medieval Art, whether we are hereby not blurring the distinction between verbal and visual way of communication and distorting the exegetic, exegetical process. 
The popularity of the term read in contemporary research <coughs> of visual imageries can be, uh, can be attributed um, to the uh, interdisciplinary dialogue. Nonverbal methods were regarded as a language and the object of study as text. Even in antiquity, learn paid attention to the similarities and differences um, as between visual and uh, uh, as between visual and uh, list littered works and to the advantage of one of them over the other. Thus, for example, Simonides of course stated painting is mute pa poetry and poetry is a speaking picture. Visual works of art uh, and literacy, literary texts uh, are perceived differently like the ways in which they are presented. Visual and verbal expression can um, um, comp complement one another and sometimes replace one another, but even in those cases uh, where one can paint, point out close, closenesses, they are not identical. One of the essential differences in the way in which we take in a visual work of art in comparison to the way we interpret a text is the linear and uh, gradual character of text, which is revealed uh, in reading or voicing word after word and sentence after sentence, whereas the viewing of a work of art uh, often makes it possible to see it in its entirety. Afterward, during the process of decipherment of the various components always present in the background of the viewer's consciousness is the work of art in its entirety, serving as a key for understanding its details. Learned people in antiquity were very aware of these differences, as we can learn from a series of ekphrases. One of the best examples is the ekphrasis written by Horikius of Gaza of a mosaic in the church of St. Sergius uh, in the city. As you may understand, I'm dealing with visual texts um, and I'm very much interested these days um, in the reception of those visual images by the community, how we can know that. Uh, and the main questions that I realize that I have to ask myself concerns the uh, visual literacy of the uh, uh, audience. Um, I'm working now uh, on one of the panels uh, that was excavated in a synagogue at Chukuk in the Galilee, dated to the late first century. Um, and it seems that this panel and other panels uh, in the synagogues relates to um, disputes between Christians um, and um, Jews at that time. And the question that I have to ask myself is whether the, the uh, simple people of the community were acquainted with those disputes. Are those di disputes elitists um, um, and concerns um, texts? or um, were much wider and the, the, the people in those rural community were well acquainted with those uh, issues. Um, <coughs> um, 
for these questions of receptions and visual literacy, processes of cognition may help. Um, and one of the questions is whether there uh, was in uh, Judaity, um, as we know there, there were in, in Christian communities, um, texts and, and mechanisms that help the, the audience to uh, um, understand or uh, read correctly those uh, visual uh, images because uh, as I mentioned before um, um, visual uh, images are very effective but they are open to um, various ways of in interpretation and this is beautiful when you go to see uh, um, uh, works of art in a museum but when uh, um, a visual imagery is used in the, uh, a religious building, then there should be a, a way to direct the, on, the audience into the uh, interpretation that the patron um, or the leader of the community intended.